What's up everybody, Bootsy Greenwood here, and I want to get a little bit weird with you today uh, and kind of go into a foray. This is something that's a little bit off the beaten path, but I think it's really interesting. It dovetails really, really nicely with transurfing, and in fact, a lot of Vadim's ideas um, are very, uh, core, you know, relatable to some of these ideas that were written about by a guy named Robert Anton Wilson. If you've never heard of Robert Anton Wilson, uh, he's one of my biggest heroes. Uh, I love the book Prometheus Rising particularly. Um, it's an excellent, excellent book and it describes a lot, uh, some similar things uh, to transurfing and we're definitely building on the shoulders of giants time and time again. But what he had done in Prometheus Rising particularly is take one of Timothy Leary's discoveries and don't change the channel just yet, but the uh, idea is that there are eight circuits or levels of consciousness in, in, in reality. And he talks about our development and how we go through those. And this was Timothy Leary's discovery. It's not his theory per se, because there's a lot of more ancient and esoteric ideas that also uh, have this idea embedded in them as well. But Robert Anton Wilson took these ideas and he put them in a way that I think are, is just absolutely brilliant. And I want to share this with you because what I want to do is take some of this, because I've talked a lot about uh, social conditioning. And it's like, it's one thing to say, a drop, uh, you know, get rid of your social conditioning, peel the layers back. Okay, great. Well, but how do I do that? Right? Like there's more social conditioning than we know. In fact, we can't really know what our social conditioning is unless we have a meta perspective, unless we can see in a more objective way. So that's what I kind of want to shine a light on today. And I want to talk a little bit about Robert Anton Wilson's or, or, or Uncle Bob, as he's affectionately known, um, <laughs> and some of his ideas that are uh, in Prometheus Rising. It's a great book and I am going to put beneath this video a link to a playlist where he talks about it even more in depth because I mean, the man's brilliant and he really contributed a lot to science and a lot to, to freedom and a lot to spirituality as a, as a researcher, as a contributor, uh, and as a writer. Uh, so anyway, I'll stop going on. Bless his heart. Uh, he did a lot. He did a lot for us. Um, so I just want to talk about like, and you'll be familiar with these. So like, we're going to go through the first four in this video, the first four circuits of consciousness. And the reason why they're called that is because Leary had a fascination for computers. And as we look at the reality that's surrounding us, we're going to see that everything's basically a computer, like our cells, a smaller version of a computer up to our brain, which is a computer up to the universe itself, which is a computer. And then the galaxy, which is a computer. And so it's just a box inside of a box, you know, a fractal bigger and bigger and bigger, getting meta and meta as above, so below, as below, so above, right? So we know that, we know that when we see a reflection uh, in the mirror, we understand that principle and that's exactly what we're talking about here. We're just talking about larger and larger versions of the same thing and building up. And I wanna talk a little bit about how we develop as humans. Because the way we develop as humans, no matter who we are, we have trauma and we have pain and we have some issues that we're going to have to deal with um, in time. And what, what Timothy Leary posited was that we could take LSD and reprogram these hurts that we've had as we developed from a very young age. Now, I want to say that maybe that's possible, but I believe that, and I'm pretty freaking sure of it just through my own experience working with some people, that we can reprogram ourselves without the use of any sort of psychedelic substance or chemicals. But what we're going to see is that there are a lot of things that are reflected in this, including chemicals and nature and how it affects our brain as well um, as the actual developmental stages as well. So of course we come out as a baby, we're a little tiny baby, and that is the maternal phase of our development as human beings, right? We're completely helpless in this stage, right? It is totally fear-based. We don't know what the hell is going on. We're in our mother's arms. Hopefully she takes good care of us, but no matter what, we're gonna have some issues there, all right? There's always gonna be some issues there because it's completely out of fear. This is all new to us and we're just being cradled by our mother. This is completely fear-based. 
Um, and one thing that we'll notice is there are certain personality types. Like a lot of these circuits could become dominant in our lives. Um, certain people have different, I don't want to say kinks, but like different, uh, uh, you know, affections for certain things. For instance, if we're a maternal, uh, more based, we slide back into that uh, developmental role, then opiates would be the chemical of calming and soothing. And again, it's out of fear, but calming and soothing, and we might overeat. So we might see somebody who's a little bit more plump, a little bit more on the larger side, a little bit more, um, you know, of an eater and, and an indulgent type of person would be more stuck in that particular uh, circuit. And that also is the oral circuit as well. So that makes it, that's where we suckle, you know, as a baby, we're, if we're getting food and that makes us feel, you know, that makes us feel calmer and safer and all of those things because we're completely helpless, right? And then as we begin to develop, we get into the ages of two, three, four, five years old, and we start to develop that little ego. Yes, that little ego. Um, and the ego is what Robert Anton Wilson talks about. Like we either have an aversion to information or we, 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 we have, we want information. We, we want, we want a lot of it or, or, or we think it's bad. So a lot of things that are going to happen in, in this particular phase of development is we're going to think I'm okay and the world's okay. That's one particular thing. I'm not okay. And the world's okay. Okay. Or, um, the world's okay, but I'm not okay, right? And so on and on, you see, the, you see the pattern there. So those are things that are developed. What is my place in the herd, right? What am I, am I top dog or am I, you know, am I at the back, bottom of the pack? Like this is, this is, the, this is the, um, the second circuit, which correlates to Tuesday. All these also correlate to days of the week as well, which is just bananas. But like number two, the second, which is what he calls the anal circuit, right? Like anal, anal circuit, like a mammal, uh, dogs and cats pee on things and mark their territory, right? And what's funny about it is number two, the deuce, you know, and it's like, if you've ever seen, and it also correlates to alcohol, right? Of course, you might have guessed that ego, alcohol, it's ego juice um, <clears throat> and alcohol. And then if people are an asshole, well, that kind of explains it, right? So you might see somebody who's more the bodybuilder type, right? The type of guy who's Hans and Franz and they're gonna pump you up, you know, and they're very dominant, very, very strong, right? But that's not necessarily a secure strength at all, right? That's still fear-based. So, you know, depending on how we come up. Then we're going through the semantic circuit. This is, you know, again, like four or five, six years old. We're starting to understand that the world exists in pictures. We're starting to divide things up and we're starting to label everything. Fork, plate, blue, green, triangle, whatever, right? So this is where our cognitive functions and the logical, rational aspects of our um, development exist here. Now in each one of these phases, we are imprinting, right? So we are telling our subconscious mind how we feel about certain issues in each one of these states. Maternal, paternal, so we don't even remember it, but that's why we are who we are, because of this aversion or this uh, acceptance of information, right? So we're doing one or the other. Now this semantic person uh, is very logical, rational. This is where we develop speech, okay? And this is where we are starting to really develop our left brain. So especially in our culture, that's highly developed. And the drug that would go, or the chemical that would go with this particular uh, level of development would be cocaine, right? Uh, something speedy, something da 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 like that. Something that stimulates the rational mind. So that's what that would be. And then we go into the sexual circuit. And we're gonna cover these four for this video, and then we'll get into the higher ones next time. But the fourth one is adolescence, right? We're you know 12 to 14 years old, whatever, and we start to come into our own. Our bodies change. We have all these different chemicals now as we go through adolescence, and we all of a sudden start to feel shame. We feel guilt. We feel um, a lot of a lot of conflicting emotions regarding our identity as a sexual creature. And every single, every single society has taboos. 
and some are universal, but mostly culture to culture, they're slightly different. This is okay in one culture and it's not okay in another culture. And this is part of that social conditioning, right? And so we start to put ourselves in a box and say, oh God, I'm not okay. I can't say certain things. I can't do certain things. I can't truly express myself or I feel like I can't because of social pressure and social conditioning that's pushing down on whatever it is that's coming up out of me in this particular adolescent state. Okay, so a lot of people don't make it past this circuit. The sexual circuit is something that we want to transcend in order to get to, you guessed it, the higher levels of consciousness. So this is a very dualistic place. Between one and four, we're in a very dualistic binary place, right? We are either black or white, right or wrong, okay? If we've ever seen the checkerboard floor on a music video or on a movie or whatever, this Masonic um, sort of thing, the idea of that is that it's, it represents base consciousness. It represents very binary, very simplistic consciousness. And most of us as human beings, now if you're watching this video, of course, it's not true for you, but most of us as human beings, we, we don't develop past binary dualistic thinking. So we never really push past this sexual circuit. And when, especially once we have kids, because, well, I mean, you've got to go to work, right? You've got to make this money and you've got to do all these types of things. So, you know, self-development sort of takes a backseat role to that. Now, for a lot of my friends, that's not entirely true. And, and in fact, for Robert Anton Wilson, it wasn't because he didn't d develop some of these ideas until much later in his life. He was in his 30s before he started to uh, expand his awareness and his ideas about this kind of stuff. Now, the idea is that we want to reprogram these circuits because we've had traumas in each one of them. And what we want to do is we want to access these higher levels of consciousness and then from a more objective, more meta place, reprogram these things. Now, we don't have to use LSD um, and there's been a lot of research done on all of this stuff. Um, we don't need to use any sort of substance to do it. We can use uh, uh, techniques. We can use uh, a lot of different methods. To start, to start to get into you know, these parts of ourselves that were damaged from a young age and reprogram them. For instance, there was a story that he tells about a guy who he, uh, he was having his first sexual experience making out with a girl in a car. And a cop comes up with a light and goes, hey, what are you doing in there? And then he was impotent for like 20 years until he was able to do therapy. And basically, it's, we, if we can get into a theta state, and I'll talk more about that in the next video, then we can go in as the meta programmers, what Robert Anton Wilson calls it, and we can reprogram these uh, aspects of ourself and our consciousness. So that's gonna do it for this video. This ties in so well with trans surfing because like Robert Anton Wilson and these cats were like on the cusp of uh, quantum theory and quantum mechanics and physics and all this stuff. And they had some great ideas. Some of them were a little off and a little bit wonky, but we've been able to build and build and build on top of a lot of these ideas. And these are ancient, ancient ideas as well. But I'm gonna leave you guys there for now. Uh, and then I'll come back in the next video and we'll talk a little bit about these higher states of consciousness and how they correlate and how to, you know, at least theoretically move up and get to the point where we can look down at ourselves from our higher self perspective. I'll also mention that as human species, we're developing like this, right? So when we first started out, we were very maternal as a species. We didn't know where babies came from. We thought they just fell out of women. And we were like, well, praise the, praise the feminine, you know, it's sacred. And then we learned and we started to develop as society and culture. And then we became agricultural and we became paternal, right? The, the patriarchy, so to speak. And now, you know, it's like this control and dominance and we're gonna build this grid. But now we're moving into this third level, which is the semantic or technocratic uh, sort of uh, place that we're building this grid now, right? This intellectual grid that, you know, hopefully we'll be able to, to bust through. Um, and, then, and then maybe, you know, we'll start to get into these higher levels of consciousness as a species as we continue to develop in time. But that's all the time I have for this video. Patreon.com slash Bootsy Greenwood, Gumroad.com slash Bootsy Greenwood, and check out Transurfing TV because man, it is getting really, really good over there. Thanks everybody for being a subscriber. Check out the next video on this and check out Robert Anton Wilson's chat 
that I will link in the description box below. Thank you so much.